Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Kokoro no Doki Doki Senpai. Uh, we're getting excited for Sakura Blossom Cherry Blossom Festival. I just realized it's got a double dose of blossom. I picked out a special kimono just for the occasion. Hopefully all our friends are going to be there. I oh, can't wait to see Mocha-chan in her pretty kimono. She'll look like a beautiful angel of heaven or one of my K-pop idols. I've been looking forward to this festival the entire school year. I know I haven't really mentioned it much, but right from the start I was excited for this festival. Since Mocha-chan and I are friends now, yeah, we smelled her pantsu. You know, that makes you friends, right? And we saw her naked. I figured this romantic festival would be the perfect, perfect time. I don't know what perfect is. That would have... Furry says when it's perfect, it's perfect, oh! Uh, for me to confess my love for her and finally win her heart. I thought you just wanted to win her vagina. I realized that her pants was not enough. Even acquiring her vagina would be an empty victory if I don't capture her heart. Aw, I must win Mokuchan's love no matter what. This is my new goal. I call it Moku Yobi Naughty Pantsu Acquisition Program 2. This time it's personal. With such an awesome name, there's no way I can fail. Better watch out for a brother, though. He wants to get in your pants. I start putting on my kimono after I make sure Emo Kun isn't watching. He's always trying to get a peek at my junk. That's creepy. So, uh, Mako Chan, Mako Chan, however I pronounce her name, she's seen our main. She, well, she kind of missed our main character's junk. She's trying to watch her brother's junk, and her brother's trying to see our junk. But I know he would never act on it or anything. So it's cool, and we're still friends. I'm not gay. Sakura Blossom Cherry Blossom Festival. 4 p.m. I arrive at the, mu uh, the festival and immediately find Moku-chan. It wasn't hard. It was hard earlier because I can always just follow my heart to lead me to my true love. Or the stars because they seem to be on my side lately. They are friendly conspirators. Ohio! No, I'm from Michigan. <laughs> Delightful. Moku-chan's death Desu levels are approaching critical mass, critical mass, and are attempting to destroy my soul. She bounces a little bit and wiggles her bottom as she squeals in a high-pitched tone that only small girls can reach. I'm not going to try and do it. I guess it's like they called puberty, huh? Hi, I'm Okuchan. Uh, it's a lovely day for a festival, no? Yes, it is. I'm so excited. I've been waiting all school year for this festival. Um, and me, me, me too. You look quite lovely in your kimono, by the way. Thanks, Player Coon. You look, uh, I look banging, Desu. Uh, so what do you want to do? We have a full day ahead of us. I'm thinking we can start by meeting up with Emo Coon and Largo Senpai. Uh, they're around here somewhere. Emo Coon and Largo Senpai? Drat them? Double drat them? They will escort my dear Moku Chan? How I love her! I can't let Emo Coon and Largo Senpai foil my plans to court Moku Chan! I know that if we spend the day together in a group, it'll probably be very lovely, but any chance that Moku-chan's heart will fade into another dimension. The dimension of failure and friendship. Come on, let's go! We don't want to be douchebags and leave people hanging around with their dicks waving in the air. Wait, you did that to me! Let's get a move on! Uh, Vamanos, let's go! Come on, let's get going! I know that we can do it! Oh yes, I'd love to do it. My dick retreats into my torso. My Audi penis became an inny vagina. As I find this little phrase to be extremely obnoxious, no matter what, even words cannot stop my love quest for Ro Moku Chan's heart. I follow Moku Chan through the crowded streets. We pass by the stalls selling kimchi and sushi and curry bread and corn dogs. I want a corn dog. I love those things. Doesn't that sound good? I'm in the. I'm kind of in the mood for a corn dog right now, actually. See, even the main character agrees. Would you like something corn doggy esque to put in your mouth, uh, Moku Chan? Sue, whatever your name was. We walk together for a while until we find a group, because I don't want to be considered a douchebag. How is that not an alien from the other, or a demon from the dimension? Hey guys, it's so nice to see you. Hey little sis, uh, hey also dweeb. Dweeb. Uh, hi uh, dude and Largo Senpai. Largo Senpai just does his usual thing. We stands there looking into the abyss of the void of space, no doubt contemplating the downfall of the human race. I like your shirt. Emokun does his usual thing of looking lonely and sad. Trying to look at my crotch. I don't know why I hang out with these kids. So what do you guys want to do today? You, I want to do you. Uh, I don't care. Even though I've been looking forward to this festival the entire school year, my role is lead, my role is lead vocalist of the Tears of an Unenthusiasm deems that I always be unenthusiastic. I can't betray my bandmate's trust. 
you know, I have to do a quick aside. I just have to say, I really like this game. Uh, one of my viewers, Lucas, suggested this, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's really weird and different. And normally, I'm not into visual novels. I'm sorry to stop the narrative. We'll get right back into it. I'm not usually into visual novels where you don't have a lot of choices because they get boring fast, but the writing and the characters in this are interesting enough, so even if there aren't a lot of choices in how you act, it's, it's a very fun story. So let's get back to trying to get some more Maiko Chun heart. Uh, do you ever play? Since uh, Emo Chan was talking, Emo Kun was talking about his band. I've never heard you play anything or even sing it. Uh, I also didn't know you had friends. Yeah, you said you're always going to be practicing in the room. Shut up. Wait, did you just make the band up? Large of Senpai stands there as per usual. His stare penetrates my soul. Hopefully, that's not all that's going to get penetrated. Oh, well, yeah, it seems like you guys have no idea what you want to do. So, player Kun, how about you decide? Oh, I know what I want to do. It's you. Get a cord down with Mogu Chen. Go play a game where you throw baseballs at bottles with everyone. Whip out your... Fuck it, I'm taking my dick out. I whip out my cock so everyone can marvel at his grandeur. I'm sure everyone will be impressed. They're not. All right, let's take a moment here and reflect. This is no longer Player Coon's interior monologue. This is the third person narrator speaking. Besides me? What the fuck did you think could possibly accomplish by pulling out your dick in this situation? Well, Micah Chan, Chan, she wanted to see my dick before, so I'm giving her what she wants. Her brother likes me, so I'm giving him what he likes. An alien space ambassador, I'm sure he wants to see it too, to learn about the human race. I mean, Christ, you must be really awkward if you think that whipping out your cock is an appropriate thing to do anywhere at any time. I mean, seriously, you're one ignorant motherfucker. I bet you thought that was funny, right? Oh yeah, haha, -ha, very funny. You made Player Kun whip out his penis. Do you have any idea how awkward you made Player Kun feel? Right now, he's getting stoned to death by a mob that gathered around him after seeing the horror that is his genitalia. Well, I thought it was huge. This is your fault. Player Kun's death is on your conscience now. How does that make you feel? I feel really good about it. I bet you're just laughing right now, you freaking sociopath. This is funny to you, huh? Well, it depends on the frame. Uh, well, you remind me. Remind me never to invite you over to one of my parties. You may be thinking to yourself, yeah, yeah, but none of the other choices mattered before, so what is it now? You don't question my art. You don't question my games I make. Just like I didn't run into your house when you were taking a dump and critique you on the finesse and your shitting technique. Well, my shooting technique's pretty fine, thank you. If you want to play this over again, you better try and try and get a better ending you can. I will allow you one more chance. I hope you saved it at some point. Oh! The bad ending. I don't know, I think it was the good ending. I gotta take my dick out. Alright, so whipping out my dick didn't work for some reason. I don't know, the game where you throw the baseballs at the bottle sounds really cool because I've only ever seen that on TV. I've never actually done that at a, you know, festival. But the chance to see the girl I love put a corn dog in her mouth, I can't pass up that. Uh, hey, Mocha Chan, let's get a corn dog together because that's what best friends do. Get corn dogs together. Wouldn't that be mean to abandon all our friends? No. Nah. Oh, wrong, wrong voice. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't really care. I don't have any depth of character aside from being an emo cock slap. Oh, okay. Yes, emo Kun has been a nice guy after all. I knew there'd be a day when he'd be cool. Thanks, emo Kun. Kun, whatever. This is going to be such a kawaii time. Plus, I'll get to watch Moku Chen eat a phallic shaped corn dog ever so seductively. I'll use my imagination to project my own penis onto the corn dog. Actually, wait, never mind. That'd be kind of terrible. She's going to be taking bites out of the corn dog. That would hurt like fuck. Trust me, it hurts when someone bites your dick. I mean, what? I'm really terrible at metaphors. If that's a metaphor, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good at anything. I'm terrible. Oh yeah, you eat that. You be a dirty girl with mustard on your face. Oh yes, you eat that corn dog. Mmm, you put that in your mouth. Mmm, these corn dogs are so sugoi. That's pretty awesome that she's enjoying the corn dog I bought for her. I was worried she'd be allergic to corn or possibly dog. <coughs> oh no, I didn't realize it was made out of a real dog. Uh, you know, Monkey Chan, I'm really enjoying this time that I'm sharing with you now, uh, here together that we are doing. Oh, that's very nice of you to think, Player Coon. I do not abhor your presence either. Right now I'm feeling a little bad, though. While I'm here at this festival, Lord Shokushu Gukan, Gokan and his army of Nega Demons uh, is using his army of Nega Demons to reap souls as we speak. I'm such a bad magic girl! Oh, God. It's that time of the month. No, no, don't say that. I'm sure you're a perfectly adequate magic girl. 
I don't know. That's one of those things where you just can't win. I remember, I remember once there was this girl and she was like, ah, am I fat? I was like, no, you're skinny. She's like, ah, I'm skinny. Why would you say that? I'm like, oh, some people you can't win with. You really think so? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Uh, I'm sure everything will be fine. Uh, you need to do something to get your mind off of it. I suppose so, but I'm incapable of making my own decisions because I'm a dating sim visual character novel. Novel character. Uh, what do you want to do, player con? Rob genitals. Um, accidentally make a fool of yourself? No, let's go do karaoke. Uh, would you like to sing some karaoke with me, uh, Moko chan It'll be a pretty day so time. Sure, it sounds more fun than being at the center of a bukkake party. Are you sure? That actually sounds really gross. Uh, that doesn't sound very fun to me, Mako chan Well, that's because you're probably heterosexual cis male. Player Kun, if you wanted dozens of strange men to ejaculate on your face and chest, you'd be a gay man like my brother. Well, I can't be mad at her. You know, pretty early on, it was obvious she's kind of whorish. So it'd be kind of weird now to be like, ah. Wait, y your brother is gay? Obviously he is. He tried to touch our junk. Yeah, couldn't you tell? I mean, he was sending out some signals, but I wasn't sure if he was gay or just European. Like Larjo Senpai. Nope, he's gay. Oh, okay. So, uh, do you want to do that karaoke now or something? Yeah, I love singing. I'm a professional. Oh, uh, really? No. Oh, okay. Dance on the floor. Clap, clap. You need a handbag. Yours and yours only. Bitches love butts. Bitches love butts. I want a stable dance style. It's not a lie. Oh, that song's not any good. She's killing it. Mocha Chan, you know, those aren't the real lyrics to, uh... Car Karma Del Dancing, and the song is in Swedish. Why are you singing in English anyway? Aren't we supposed to be speaking in uh, Japanese? But we've been speaking English this entire time. What visual novel have you been reading? Well, I thought it was just because it was assumed that everyone uh, has been saying is like automatically translated or something, so it's easily accessible for English speaking audience. Well, I would hope so, because I don't remember much in the way of Japanese. No. Oh, uh, okay. So we continued doing karaoke stuff for a while. It is okay, I guess. I mean, all I can really think about is sticking it in her pooter. Well, if that ain't, that ain't the romantic sentiment. It's true, though. We all have that moment, don't we? Sometimes when you're hanging out with someone and they're like, blah, 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 and you're just thinking, God, I want to fuck them. <laughs> Come on, it's probably happened to you at some time, too. You're trying to pay attention and you're listening, but you really just want to get down and dirty. I have a mild direction the entire time, and this affects my singing quality. How? How does... I find it incredibly hard to sing in falsetto because I am just feeling so damn god manly. Goddamn manly. Scott manly. I never really played the karaoke game before. I'm not very good at it, it seems. I don't remember the words and everyone is laughing at me. Shut the fuck up! Stop judging me! Mokuchan seems to find it cute, though. Score! Sorry, I got lost in the music. I don't know. The music in this game is catchy. I, I, whoever put this game together, I, I enjoy it. Her sopping wet grayscale pussy will be mine. I went from a very sweet sentiment to, you know, a lot of the sexual stuff is like, it's okay or kind of hot. When you go from sopping wet to grayscale, it just sounds like it's diseased. I laugh maniacally a bit to myself. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I know, Fiend. Just think about how pleasurable it will be to finally deflower your rose. Ah. Oh, Player Coon, you're so romantic. Mokuchan Chan giggled and swayed to and fro, her adorable little twin tails nearly slapping me in the face. Would you like some balls in your face? I call them bally face time. You're very poetic, too. You have such a way with words. I know, it's amazing I'm single. Without sweet I am. Well, I mean, I am the man. Maybe you get a chance to prove yourself later. Oh, boy, yeah. What did Mocha Chen mean by that? Does that mean she'll really want a hot dicking? I mean, I mean, she didn't mention before that my dangly thing was quite possibly above average size. That's a great successful victory. Well, she said it was bigger than normal, right? I was going to be like, no woman's ever told me it's average, above average size. And be like, people don't talk like that. And people are going to be like, of course they didn't. It's tiny, girlfriend. Oh, oh, I walked into that. Everything is going according to plan. This night is going to be perfect. Since arriving at the Sakura Blossom Academy, I was worried that I wouldn't find friends, let alone find love. I have found both, and life seems to be going just peachy perfect. At this rate, I'll soon begin phase three and achieve the ultimate happiness levels of jizzgasm. 
I look over at Moku-chan, who's begun singing another song. She's taking everyone's turn at the karaoke bar because she has a strong personality. You, you say that because you like her. If somebody takes all the turns, it's because they're a douche or an asshole. It's really cute, and I'm about to ugh oh, if this keeps up all over the place. She looks so pretty and perfect in her holiday kimono. Whenever I see her in that kickin' rad kimono, I nearly cream my jeans. Metaphorically, of course, I may not have very good control over my balls thanks to the Captain Crunch abuse, but I am no premature ejaculator. Mocha Chan hands the microphone to me. Our hands briefly brush against each other and we both feel embarrassed. I notice my own face getting warm as Mocha Chan tries to conceal her blushing cheeks. Butt cheeks. Hey, Player Kun, let's go look at the cherry blossoms. I'll check out your cherry blossoms. Oh. Why is it quiet in here all of a sudden? That's the point of the festival, after all, to see the cherry blossoms. Right. I nod my head. We start heading over to the lakeside, which is where the cherry blossoms fall from the trees. It's a beautiful... Hey, it's like Washington, D.C., right? It's a beautiful night. The sky is dark and amber starlight dots the sky. Crickets chirp. Rip, chirp, chirp. I'm drunk, cricket. Quietly all around us as we hear the distant sounds of the festival. Music, chatter, laughter. ho, <laughs> We both look back and see children playing in the ass. In the grass! In the grass! Oh, I'm sorry about that. We both smirk at the quaint scene before us. We stand amongst the cherry blossoms that fall gently to the ground all around us. Moonlight shimmering off the lake. Around us, couples hold hands. Some lean against the trees and express their love for each other via fixed physical affection. I realize that this could be considered our first actual date. I make a paper boat of a out of a dirty napkin and turn to Moku-chan. Uh, do you want to set this out on the water so I can look at your butt? I mean, so you can just it's put it on the water? Sure, that sounds like it would be lovely. We both lean over and Mocha Chen grabs the paper boat with me. We both let go of the boat simultaneously and watch it as it floats across the water. Way to pollute! Its gentle drifting lulls both of us into a serene sense of happiness. We are slightly startled by the fireworks that begin going off in the distance. Well, at least you didn't poo yourself again. That'd be really hard to recover from, I think, at that moment. The festival is coming to a close. I don't want this perfect day to ever end. You could murder suicide, then no one, none of you will see the future, but that seems like kind of a premature thing to jump to. I gently place my hand on Moku-chan's. Am I a ninja? I think I'm a ninja. Look at that. It's like I got a, you know, ninja headband thing. I can't decide which is a more beautiful sight. The fireworks in the calm black sky are the perfect contours of my Moku Chen's face. Didn't you used to have a nose? Where's your nose? I swear you used to have a nose. It feels as if the stars themselves are smiling at me. This is probably the happiest moment in my young life. Coming to Sakura Blossom Academy was a blessing in disguise. I look deep into Moku Chen's eyes. The dripping pools of warmth that sit before me reflect my own faith. Face. Not my religion, my own life, my own dreams, and my own hope. Player Khan? Our faces are, are inches apart. I see Mocha Chan close her eyes and bring her lips closer to mine. Wow, hold up, wow. I pull away. Holy fuck, I just realized something. I'm gay! What? Yes! Everything makes sense now. I don't really love Mocha Chan, I love her brother Emo Kun. What? But this whole time we were trying to get the vagina! And we said no to Emo Coon! What? Man, he's such a fucking stud muffin! I went on that milkshake's man meat! What? I finally realized my true calling in life. I'll marry Emo Coon if it's the last thing I do. But you smelled his sister's panties! And you saw her boobies! And so I did. It was a beautiful ceremony and we lived happily ever after in marital bliss. I think we just got trolled. Like, the whole game, he's like, I want the girl, and then you get done, and you're like, no, nah, I want his dick. The happy ending. <laughs> well, everybody, let's cook around. No, Doki Doki Senpai. I gotta say, I did not expect that ending to, to the least. Of all the wild, crazy things we saw, I certainly didn't think we'd end up with the brother. We were that close, we were having a romantic date, and you're like, you know what? Come to think of it. That's gonna be hard for her. Like, that's gonna be really hard for the chick. I mean, she's all like, Ah, Mom's slutty! Yeah, he loved me! And then, uh, 
you're about to go in for a kiss and you're like, nope, I like the dick. Sorry. I would feel bad for anybody that would have that happen to them in real life, whether someone realizes they're straight or gay, to be like, yeah, I like you, I like you too. Oh, no, I like the opposite sex. I would think you'd be like, oh, that makes me feel shitty. Either way, this was a really cool game. Thanks, Lucas, for suggesting it. If you'd like to play it yourself, I think there's probably a link in the description on all these videos. I don't know how many videos this is going to be. I think it's four? Doesn't really matter. Well, somebody got a happy ending. Oh! Maybe there'll be a sequel when Mako-chan gets a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Yeah, this was cool. I had fun. A really good time. Well, everybody, I'll see you all in whatever the next game is I play. This game was so gay. Literally!